Hello, all of you beautiful souls. My name is Larissa and welcome to my YouTube. I know it has been quite a while since I have posted here on YouTube as well as Instagram. I've taken quite a long break from social media, but it feels good to be coming back. I really missed being here and interacting with you all, but I also just needed to take some time for myself and I'll be coming out with probably one or two videos soon. Um, going a little bit more into depth of what I've been up to, um, why I was gone from social media, and my process through detaching from the outside world for a little while and going inward, and the benefits that has brought into my life, my transformation experience. I love sharing all that types of stuff with you guys, um, so I hope you are interested and excited to see those videos come out in the future. But for now, I want to pick up where I left off last time because in my previous videos, I was sharing my van life adventures with you guys after picking up my van and enjoying this lifestyle and traveling and eating delicious raw vegan food. So if you had been following along on that journey, I picked up my van on the East Coast and was slowly coming back to the West Coast. And in the last video, I had just stopped in Austin, Texas. And in this video, I was driving through New Mexico and stopping in Sedona, Arizona, which is a place I had been wanting to visit for so long. Just as magical as I was hoping. I absolutely love sharing my adventure videos with you guys and my travels. It just, it brings me so much gratitude that I get to explore this beautiful world and share that with you all. And I hope it inspires you to live a very magical and adventurous life as well. Um, and I wish, I wish I could bring you guys with me. I wish somebody could come along with me and film for me, honestly, because I feel like I'm barely even in my videos since I'm always doing all the filming. But I do want to switch up how I film in the future because, you know, I, I really do, I want to be in them more. <laughs> but seriously, who out there wants to come along with me to film for me and help me get better shots of me actually experiencing my adventures. I mean, I would absolutely love that. That would be so much fun. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below who's down, who's down to join me. But anyway, let's get right into the video and I'll pick up where I left off, leaving Austin, Texas. So after I left Austin, Texas, I headed to New Mexico on my way over to Sedona, Arizona and this was the first morning I had in New Mexico and I just found this beautiful place in nature to start the day. I found a nice little picnic bench to enjoy my breakfast with such a beautiful view of the mountains and I had a nice delicious honeydew for breakfast and then I headed out on a little hike so guys I'm really tripping out on this like hollow wood. It reminds me of a snake or something, but I keep finding dead pieces of this wood everywhere. Like that. This one's still on the ground, but I don't know. It's just really beautiful to me. Really cool. don't know why it's all like dead but huh can't figure out what kind of plant or tree it's from but it's really cool there's a lot of really cool desert plants out here surprising how green the desert is it's beautiful okay so I just figured out that these really interesting hollow dead plants makes a lot of sense because they're actually 
these really pretty cactuses that I keep taking pictures of and filming because they they grow these pretty kind of like flower things that on the other ones I've seen like yellow and pink this one's green um but yeah I just figured out oh yeah here's kind of a dying little flower guy but I just figured it out because this one is starting to die in some places and it makes sense that they're hollow because they're cactuses and they hold water inside. So I figured out the mystery of these extremely intriguing hollow pieces of wood with beautiful designs. Really cool. All right, another one of these cactuses with, look at this pretty flower. And there's a yellow one up here. It's probably going to turn into that flower. But yeah, they look really pretty. With this color, so vibrant. I'm obsessed with these cactuses. I don't know what they're called, but I love them. My post hike fuel were some bananas with maple syrup and cinnamon, which is such a delicious combination. I saw lots of cool landscapes while driving through New Mexico. Just so much desert beauty. And then once I settled in for the night at my camp spot, I made a delicious salad for dinner with some nori sheets on the side so that I could put my salad in some nori and make little salad burritos. The next morning I was back on the road and I stopped at this really interesting place. This was a piece of wood that had, it looked like almost like crystals growing in it. Um, this place was called Ortegas, which is really similar to my last name, if you know my last name. Um, it was just a cool little Native American center. They had a lot of beautiful spiritual tools like crystals and dream catchers and little instruments, little wood sculptures, so many beautiful things to explore. As I started to head into Arizona, getting closer to Sedona, I just could not believe how green it was there. I was really just expecting lots of dry desert because I've never explored this area in my life, but wow. And then of course had to stop at the grocery store and load up on some food. And then I explored the downtown Sedona area for a little while just being constantly blown away by the picturesque mountains in the background. I just could not believe how beautiful and unreal this place was. Shared a magical moment with a little rainbow while I was driving to my campsite for the night. And then I made some dinner and of course had to have a big green salad with sprouts and lots of other good stuff. Hey guys, so it's been a while since I have popped on here and updated you what I've been up to. I've taken, you know, lots of random footage as I've been going, but just wanted to show my face here and say hello. Um, and yeah, I've just uh, been doing a lot, obviously. As you can see, um, I stopped in Austin, Texas for a little over a week, visited a friend, and that was really nice. And then I headed from there uh, to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And as I was driving through New Mexico, and as well as Arizona, I could not get over how beautiful the drive is. The, the views of the landscapes are just like breathtaking and unreal. Like, 
wow i was not expecting the desert to just be so dreamy and colorful and beautiful so that's been wonderful especially on long drives and uh now i'm cu currently here in sedona arizona which is a place i've been wanting to go to for so so long and as soon as i got here you know i had already been driving through beautiful landscapes but i was blown away i didn't think it could get any more beautiful but sedona has taken my breath away as soon as i laid my eyes on her landscapes i could not even comprehend what i was seeing and, and that it was real it seemed so unreal so it's just been so awesome being here and i just got here i'm gonna go explore a lot more and go on some beautiful hikes to the energy vortexes here i'm so excited about that i'm such a spirituality nerd um and also a geology nerd so like being in these beautiful places with these rocks and formations and the different colors of just everything the rocks and the minerals and the crystals uh, I'm just in a dream um, so yeah it's just been super lovely uh, spending a lot of time outside in nature finding great places to you know get smoothies and I mostly have been making all of my own food I haven't really been eating out really at all so just stocking up at the grocery store and making simple salads and eating lots of fruit like usual super super easy honestly you save a lot of money and it's really easy to stay raw vegan or at least high raw vegan like how I eat anywhere you go you can get fruits and vegetables it's so easy so yeah just been sticking to that it makes life easier less expensive more enjoyable for me because I feel my absolute best and so I'm gonna have lots of energy tomorrow to go on some beautiful hikes because I've fueled my body with you know the best of the best when it comes to what you can get straight from nature um and yeah i'm excited to share more of my adventures with you guys i hope you're enjoying seeing you know what i'm up to it's fun to share it so thanks for tuning in and being here and interacting with me and being along for the journey being a part of my community i really appreciate it i love you guys so much thank you so much for the support it just it means so much to me so anyway, yeah, I will continue to show you what I'm up to. Had a nice big bowl of oranges for breakfast the next day while soaking up the sunshine, which is one of the best combinations, especially when you're outside breathing in some fresh air. Then I headed off to my first hike in Sedona at a famous energy vortex. I believe this is called Bell Rock. And yeah, it was just such a beautiful and peaceful experience being in this land, just really strong energy and such a nice, beautiful, sunny day to enjoy the surroundings. After the hike, I went back to the van to enjoy a delicious juicy melon. And then later in the day, I went to this really awesome place called Chocolate Tree that has mostly raw vegan food. They have a cute little apothecary as well. And they have some really delicious raw vegan chocolates and treats that they make in-house. Lots of really cool, quirky art. I got this raw vegan sandwich that was super delicious. And I enjoyed it outside in their little garden seating area. Then I headed back 
to my campsite later and enjoyed the sunset and had a nice nourishing salad to end the day. The next morning, I started off my day with a nice little workout in the sun, getting a nice sweat on and movement and breath and finished the whole session off with a nice yoga stretch. And then later that day, I was invited to a sunset ecstatic dance and it was so much fun just getting to vibe with these people. The energy in Sedona is just so fun and I had a great time. And then the next morning I was getting ready to head out and I just wanted to share my experience of what it's like to fill up my water tank. There's lots of different tasks I have to do living in the van and this is one of the many that require lots of time and effort to enjoy this lifestyle but it's always an adventure and always so much fun. making sure everything in the van is nice and secure before heading out. And I first stopped at the gym for a nice workout in the morning to get the day going before a long day of driving. Gotta get in a good stretch after that workout. And then I got lucky with this Planet Fitness having a nice luxury shower. Every, every now and then I hit the jackpot. <laughs> And then I ended off my gym session with a nice massage. Very spoiled at Planet Fitness. <laughs> um, and then my post-workout meal were some delicious melons. The honeydews are always my favorite when they're perfectly ripe. And then yeah, headed back to the West Coast. All right, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my adventures and to be a part of my community. It means so much to me. If you'd like, you can follow me on Instagram as well, where I definitely post a little bit more often. Um, still just getting back into the flow of being back here on social media, but I am very excited to be back. And definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps me out so much and I really appreciate it. And um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And yeah, thank you. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.